Friday. And once again, I'm joined by my co-host, Michael Menser. Michael, how is it going? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm doing all right. Um, Let's just jump right into it. Carson Wentz, the big story in the NFL, gets traded to the Colts. We all, most of us saw it happening. Uh, What was your first reaction on the trade that sent Carson Wentz to Indy? I'm kind of surprised it was to the Colts, to be honest. I didn't think it was going to be the Colts. I thought it was going to be some other team, you know, like uh, possibly like the Saints maybe or maybe like the Vikings. I didn't think it was going to be the Colts. Yeah, and I thought there was a chance that he could go to the Colts. A lot of people were saying that. I actually thought maybe the Bears would be the best option for him. Um, and a lot of Bears fans, I don't think, wanted it to happen because they want to just draft a quarterback and start over. But I think Carson Wentz fits the best in Indianapolis just because Frank Wright is former offensive coordinator who he had the most success with. They were able to go, well, he was the MVP until he got hurt, and then they still were just a rule with Nick Foles and ended up winning. Um. How well of a coach do you think Frank Wright, or how successful do you think Frank Wright will be in his first year with Carson Wentz, Michael? I think he should do pretty good because he was already proven he could be a good coach. And also uh, Wentz has proven he could be a good quarterback if he has the right coaches. So I think he could be potentially, I think it will take a little bit to uh, for them to get kind of accustomed to each other, but I think eventually they will be pretty good. Yeah, and I think, again, Carson Wentz is not a top-10 quarterback right now. The last few years have not been good, but I think if you give him the right coaching staff and the right you know, right situation, because in his first few years in Philly, it was a good situation. And then for some reason, something happened. Um, the injury, I think, was big. And, of course, Frank Wright leaving was another you know factor in, I think, his struggles. But I think after this year, the Colts will probably end up winning the AFC South. They'll go 11-5, and five, probably take a three or four seed. They're not going to be the best team just because the Ravens and Chiefs are so good. But I think they'll end up taking probably the three or four seed, 11-5. and five, And Carson wants to become a top-10 quarterback and get back to the MVP conversation. In my opinion, the, uh, the Eagles got fleeced. I mean, all they got was a third-round pick and maybe a first-round pick. It will probably be a first-round pick if he plays 75% of the snaps or they play 70% and they end up going to the playoffs who do you think won that trade michael uh honestly i could see both teams i think it was a pretty even trade because uh the eagles didn't really give up or the Colts didn't really give up too much and for the Colts could also potentially do really good with Wentz, or if they don't if Wentz doesn't do very good at least they haven't didn't give up like a first round pick or anything so but the Eagles I think they definitely wanted to get rid of wins and so I I think Kurtz is definitely the future there so yeah I think both teams probably as of now I think it was a pretty even trade well I mean I'm I'm assuming Carson Wentz is going to play 75 percent of the snaps this year or at least 70 percent and make the playoffs so if he does that the Eagles the Eagles wound up getting the Colts his first round pick so that's what I'm assuming is going to end up happening because even if he doesn't play 75%, they're probably going to reach the playoffs. And I, I couldn't see him not playing less than 70% unless snapped, unless something, unless he got injured or something was out for the majority of the season, he's going to, he's going to at least play 70%. In my opinion, they're going to make the playoffs. Um, do you think the Colts win the AFC South next year? Uh, I think they'll at least probably get a wild card, but yeah, I do think they, have a good chance. I, I still think Tennessee is also pretty good. But I think as of now, I would say the Colts are a little bit better. So I would say they would win the AFC South. Yeah, I don't know about the Titans, though. I mean, they – I just – I don't I don't have much confidence in uh, – in Deshaun Watson. Geez. I don't have much confidence in Ryan Tannehill just because I think he lost the game versus, versus the Ravens. Lamar Jackson, I think, outplayed or played really well in that game. But if you remember – that game, Ryan Tannehill threw the big interception. I'm not sure if that was his fault or I think it was A.J. Brown he was looking for. But I think the Titans lost that game because of Tannehill, and I think Tannehill makes the Titans not the best team in the division just because he's the quarterback. I think if the Titans had an elite quarterback or a better quarterback than Ryan Tannehill, they'd be one of the top teams in the league just because of how good Derrick Henry and A.J. Brown are. But, yeah, I could see the Colts win the division. I see they've been going 11-5 and and probably grabbing – Probably the four seed because again you got Kansas City, you got Baltimore, and you got Buffalo as the top three seeds in my opinion. 
Um, but we'll definitely see. We we know that the Colts are better than the Texans, even with Deshaun Watson. But uh, yeah, we we all know that. Um, what do the Eagles do now, Michael? Now that they looks it looks like Jalen Hurts is the quarterback. Do you assume that he's going to be the guy? Yeah, I assume so. Unless he doesn't play good next season or something. But I think he has shown potential, and I think he is a decent quarterback. And I think. If I'm an Eagles fan right now, the next thing I want them to do is just start building around them, getting more weapons. I know they just released Deshaun Watson, so or not Deshaun Watson, Deshaun, Deshaun Jackson. So getting like more receivers, I think, is definitely going to be big for them. I mean, they have the sixth overall pick, so I'm assuming they'll either get a wide receiver or maybe even Kyle Pitts because it seems like Zach Ertz is out of there. Um, what do you think the Eagles need to do going forward? Um, just help Jay or help Jalen Hurts. Should they draft a receiver, offensive lineman? I mean, what do you think they should do this off season? I definitely think, especially since this receiver or this class is pretty heavy on running backs and receivers, and they, obviously Kyle Pitts is still also really good. I think they get one of those three, and then maybe like second or third round, get like a couple offensive linemen, and then. Also, just use some of those mid-round picks to kind of beef up the defense a little bit. Yeah, and that Eagles team has a lot of holes in it right now. And I was I was listening to some people and listening to some sources, and they had said that, you know, there's a chance that Jalen Hurts isn't the starting quarterback next season. I don't know why. I don't know why the Eagles would go out and draft a quarterback. I mean, they have a chance to. I mean, but they drafted Hurts last year, and Hurts played, I thought, pretty well to be the starting quarterback. But, yeah, I could see them going out and signing a few receivers. Maybe if Devontae Smith is still available at the sixth overall pick, there's a good chance he will be. If not, there is a plethora of wide receivers available. That offensive line is a little suspect. I mean, Jason Peters, he's probably done. Jason Kelsey, not sure what's going to happen with him. They know they have Andre Dillard, a young offensive tackle. But, I mean, he has not been great. I mean, do you move him to right tackle and make a move for Orlando Brown with the Ravens? I mean, you'll probably have to give up a first-round pick for that. But I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of things they can do. Let's go back to the Colts. Carson Wentz um, now in his what fourth, fifth season, or I think he's in with his fifth or sixth season. I can't remember now. How he's been in the league a long time now. Um, but do you think? What do you think the Colts should do in the off season? Because it looks like they're going to lose T.Y. Hilton. They need some more wide receivers. I mean, their running game is stacked. They got a good defense. I mean, their coaching staff is great. Do you think they need to add a few receivers this off season, Mike? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's really the only thing that they need and then just getting depth at places. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Their defense is pretty good. I'm not sure if they need to add maybe one more corner or maybe a safety or maybe a passer. It seems like they're pretty stacked at every position except for the wide receiver position. Um, and, again, this is not what Carson Wentz has had. I mean, when he went to the Eagles, they never really had a great receiving core for him. I mean, yeah, they had Zach Ertz, but – I mean, Alshon Jeffrey was has, was basically his top target. I mean, that's not great. They brought back Deshaun Jackson. He was older. So it would be very fun to watch Carson Wentz around a really good team and see what he can do in a great coaching staff. I'm excited for Wentz because I think he definitely deserves it. I think he kind of got screwed in Philly. Um, how excited are you or how well do you think Carson Wentz will do next season, Car- uh, Michael? I think he's probably going to play pretty good just because, again, when, going back to when he was really good and they made it to the Super Bowl, he had – he didn't have great receivers, but, you know, he had the top tight end. He had a pretty good offensive line. He had a good defense running game. Coaching staff was – yeah. But, I mean, he just had a lot better supporting cast, and I think the cool supporting cast is even better than uh, what the Eagles had at the time. So, I think he could potentially do really good. Well, it's so strange because, as we all know, Doug Peterson, we thought that Doug Peterson was done with Carson Wentz was the whole reason. So then they fired Doug Peterson, want to keep Carson Wentz, and then Carson Wentz is still mad. Like, I was kind of confused on exactly what happened there because it felt like it was Doug Peterson and then it was the whole Eagles organization. I mean, that that whole team, I think, is a mess, and they're not going to be good for a while. It's going to take them a while to rebuild, but I think Jalen Hurts is the guy. But, I mean – do you do you know exactly what happened with the Eagles after winning the Super Bowl, Michael? Because it seemed like everything fell apart after that. Yeah, I think really it started when uh, Wentz kind of got re-injured, and yeah, I just I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, should they have kept Nick Foles? Is kind of the question because after Carson, the next year Carson Wentz came back and he wasn't the same. So eventually he. 
I don't I, I think it was late in the season they decided to rest him and put Nick Foles in and then they started winning again. I mean, should they have kept Nick Foles? Uh yeah, I think so just especially cuz Carson Wentz has had uh uh a lot of injury problems too. I think they probably should have kept Nick Foles, yeah. Yeah, and it probably would have been expensive, but I mean, I think it would have it's we're what we've seen the last few years in the NFL, it pays to have a good backup because you never know what's going to happen. In the last few years, we've seen this, that teams just don't have a good backup quarterback. And that's one of their problems. And they don't, they don't think they need to invest in one, which is definitely a must, especially with all these injuries we've had recently. Um, Thanks for watching the sports down podcast. Don't forget to subscribe for more great content.